we're in an extremely complex world which is faced with a number of big challenges. Climate change, pandemic, New Zealand's faced a number of big geophysical disasters. There's an increasing amount of knowledge about disasters and rising disaster losses. The problem is that that knowledge is held in a lot of different places, different disciplines, different departments, different kinds of organisations. We need a more holistic approach to understanding what is happening with disasters. The Master of Disaster Risk and Resilience takes an interdisciplinary approach to try and understand what's driving those losses and what are some of the strategies that we can use to reduce those impacts. The MDRR is deliberately positioned between the strong drive for scientific rigour and the need for relevance and broad communication skills that is required in the policy and practice sectors. It's one of the few truly interdisciplinary disaster risk and resilience degrees in the world. We combine physical and social sciences and part of the degree is using different innovative teaching approaches, so things like disaster simulations, field trips, workshops with practitioners and policy experts, and trying to give students a experience that mirrors what they'll get in the early part of their career. The degree is taught across three semesters, so the first two semesters are courses, and so within those courses you have five core courses, so there are things like Introduction to Disaster Risk and Resilience, Risk Assessment, Geographic Information Systems, uh, Planning, and we have a, a project or skills-based paper where you're looking to get those work-ready skills. There's some space for elective courses which allows students to specialise, and then in the third semester we have a dissertation where you're undertaking an independent piece of study. In many cases we'll, we'll partner very closely with an external agency or, or company or organisation where you're doing work for someone in the field of, of disaster risk and resilience, so you're getting those industry contacts and, and having a real world experience. There's a large number of career pathways coming out of this degree. Things like natural hazard analysts and regional councils, geo-environmental uh, consultancies often employ um, a lot of our grads. And then the government ministries such as the National Emergency Management Agency uh, or NEMA, uh, Ministry for the Environment, Ministry of Health, have taken graduates from, from our program um, for emergency management all the way through to uh, risk reduction uh, type roles. We had a number of grads go into uh, the likes of the World Bank, even into some of the UN agencies, and uh, of course a number of have gone into emergency management agencies, either in central government or also in the NGO sector. We take a really diverse range of people into the degree, all the way from engineers and, and physical scientists, all the way through into the humanities. Because we accept students from such a wide range of disciplines, we have this highly diverse cohort who are united by um, a passion for reducing disaster risk. This degree gives you the interdisciplinary knowledge, skills and tools where you can start to think about how we can reduce some of those, those effects, increase our resilience so that we've got a much more resilient society that will hopefully be able to weather and not just survive but thrive in the decades ahead.